be here. They should make broken family style restaurants. Teasing you, it's a comedy show. She's choking me. I'm like, tell me I'm adopted. She's like, what? Mm. Is that one too real for the crowd? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Only my comedy Wait, central I half got, hour. I, got, I, got, I love that there's just With bits that, and pieces. That makeup person. I looked orange in that clip. That was terrible. Well, yeah. your makeup looks great today. Oh, yeah. thanks. Um, he's they a had comedian. a giant zit they had to cover up. Well, the Celtics. You're not supposed to tell everyone. It's well, the, the Celtics, uh, Celtics playing well kills my spirit <laughs> and I break out. He's a comedian. He's an actor. He's a writer. Yeah. This is Sam Morell. He is here. And he's a diehard Knicks fan because even on a day when the Knicks have been on vacation for quite some time, uh, you're sporting your gear. And P.S. <laughs> By the way, can we stop saying Cancun on three? Every dweeb on Twitter, like. <laughs> Did you see Jalen Rose's response though? What, what so did he someone say? says how's Cancun, and he wrote and he puts Monaco. Oh, there we go. Yes. That's really right. dope, actually. <laughs> That's I love hey, that. No one goes Perfect. to Cancun anymore. Yeah, nobody. nobody literally nobody. nobody. Yeah. It's they more of a Cabo thing. Thirty yeah. years. Yeah, it is a hundred percent a Cabo thing. Um, you were at a bunch of games. Yeah. Fancy court side seat. You know, you and Rock, obviously. Uh, <laughs> the future. It felt like this was it. Yeah, but they're they're building. They're building towards something. I mean, I've never seen injuries like that. It hurts yeah. to see injuries like that. All the guys, like if you went to see a movie and all the if like you saw Ocean's Eleven and it wasn't Clooney and it wasn't Brad Pitt and it one. wasn't yeah. Matt Damon and Don Cheadle. It's a shitty movie. Yeah, you'd be like, what the hell? It's Sandra Bullock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the women's Ocean's Eleven Thank movie. Thank you. I saw, I saw that. And one. it did not do well. Uh, so my point is, you know, next year you. you I think you could run it back. That's the name of the show, run it back. Well done. Mm -hmm. you, you, we looked amazing in January, 14 and two, I believe, with, with OG, Randall, those guys healthy. If we have to make a move, the one guy I think could really make a difference is Giannis, who, who deceived me. I did his benefit uh, <laughs> two years you. ago. I did his benefit. I had a great set. I, uh, I had the room. He's so innocent. Giannis and his brother. I did a Magic Johnson AIDS joke. Oh and uh, it's a great joke. It was like how my, go my girlfriend and I were breaking up. And she was like, you're not crying during the breakup. You cried during the Magic Johnson doc. And I was like, you think you're in the same inspiration category as Magic Johnson? <laughs> he played in the All-Star game with HIV. You wouldn't sleep with me when you had a headache. You know? So I see Giannis and his brother, uh, Thanasis. They're like, oh. They're so innocent. They're yeah. like shocked, and it's killing. So after the show, Giannis comes up to me and he's like, "Are you a Bucks fan?" I was like, "Hell no, go Knicks." Yeah. <laughs> and and he's like, "What right. the?" He was like, "What the hell?" I was like, "Dude, I'm a New Yorker. Come to New York." And he yeah. kind of looked at his brother and he's like, "Maybe." You never know what free agency wow, holds. It's a and then he signed with the Bucks. I guess. It's a That's scoop. a scoop. He Take did, that, Shams. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for your game. Sh no, for Shams. No, no, no. No, I know. I don't yeah. want to pile no, on right now. It's been a tough week. So I, Giannis, I think, could have made a big difference. But I, I love our squad. I'm okay running it back. We were never healthy, so. That's fair. Yeah. That is fair. And so, like, this season, obviously, you mentioned all the injuries, the depleted, the, they make the move for OG, which I think was fucking love. huge Brilliant. for them. But would you, as a Knicks fan, consider this a successful season? You can't say it's a success when it was a shell of our team losing in seven to the Pacers. I think we're a way better team than the Pacers. And I know you, Indiana, by the way, Indiana but you still Twitter. got there with the injuries. Exactly. Guys and were still there. Indiana Twitter after Philly Twitter, I yeah. mean, they're nothing. Oh, Philly weak. Twitter, they're like doxing my family, <laughs> they're animals. Oh, you, you, know? you, don't, you, don't have, you don't know the half. Oh, <laughs> they're the worst. Really? Wait. You, you lose a game in uh, Philly, you literally can't go out to eat after. Dude. Really? People walk up to your table like, why? Like, you gotta <laughs> why are here. you here? Yeah, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah. Not I forgot here. you played for Philly. Lou's played been on Philly so many teams. Eight yeah. years, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. But I remember Lou at a brief stint with the Raptors, <laughs> and like, I like both you guys as players. And, <laughs> Lou just like cooked the Knicks and it was such a sad cooking because I think our lineup was like Cole Aldrich and Jason yeah. Smith and I was like, this is just not fair, you know? <laughs> but yeah, but uh, my problem was I was always in the Western Conference. When I played the Knicks, I was my one time going to New York and I was probably miserably hungover when I played you I, I went to a game against you when you were on the Mavs and uh, I want to say, was it possibly, you weren't there when the day before Porzingis got traded. To no, 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 that was you, before. Before. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was that crazy. was I was at yeah. that game the day before Porzingis yeah, got yeah, traded. Yeah. That was a dark because we knew something was looming because he just wasn't playing. Yeah. And then Porzingis, uh, I was talking to Steve Mills for some reason. I don't know why. I was, he was just talking to me because he was like, "Oh, this guy might be important." And I was like, "Far from it. I don't know why you're talking to me." <laughs> but I was with the comedian Roy Wood, and we were just like shooting, we were just shooting uh, the stuff. And and Steve Mills starts talking to us, and I was like, "Man, dude." Uh, Porzingis, man, that guy's awesome. And he was like, yeah, yeah, but how about Mitchell Robinson? I was like, yeah, he's awesome too. <laughs> and I'm like, but well, Porzingis is pretty good. And he's like, yeah, but, but you know. Yeah. So Mitchell Robinson, I was like, they traded him the next morning. Yeah, he knew. Yeah. It's tough. Absolutely. It's tough. So the Knicks fans, you know, did they gain any new celebrity or player enemies this season? 
whether it's in... Who do we hate in Philly? Kevin Eubanks in The Tonight Show? I mean, like, what was that? Who, 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 who is they that? Have? He was yeah. Leno's band guy. No, 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 but like, oh, Kevin Hart's a Philly guy. Kevin Hart, that's fair, yeah. yeah. Kevin Kevin's, Hart's, Kevin's been a little busy, though, so he wasn't around as much as He really as wasn't. Before, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to, he has to zoom in, you know? Right. It's like, uh, Ke yeah, Kevin, who's the Pacers? Who do they have? They yeah, have do like, they have a celebrity fan? They have Caitlin Clark, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who, who the hell do the Pacers counts. have? I don't think she they have counts. one. Uh, yeah, yeah they got Letterman probably. He's indie. Oh, Letterman. That's a big one. Yeah. But he's not, he's not going to games. No, he's not going anywhere. Sam, I want to ask, there was a major debate about Jalen Bronson possibly being the greatest Nick of all time. <laughs> Where do, you, where do you stand on that? I don't like being put in the position to not praise Jalen Brunson, but like it's disrespectful to Patrick Ewing and, and Walt Frazier. It's a little early. Willis Reed it's, was a league a, MVP. Yeah. Walt Frazier, 30, uh, 36 and 19 in game seven. Like, I know the league was smaller then, but you got to give those guys their props. And, and Ewing was just ridiculous. People, people I was sleep. an Allen Houston guy. You were an Allen Houston guy. I love Houston. Loved him. I love Spree. Uh, I got to sit next to Spree for a game this year, and uh, that was that was like my childhood. Just like, oh my God, I love Spree, Starks. Those are my guys growing up. How about Starks being like the AAU dad on the fucking baseball? Oh, he's like oh. a cheerleader. Oh, he's, like, he's, he's a coach. He's like Levar Ball on the He's tapping butt. Like, Looking like sideline. he wasn't getting out the house much. <laughs> like, yeah, like he I is back him. more than ever. I, I saw more of him than like yeah. some people in the game. Sam, I liked it. is Jalen Brunson the guy that bring the Knicks? back to championship status. Damn. I think he could because, you know, look, I, I'm aware that when people who aren't Knicks fans hear me talk, they think I should be in a straitjacket. <laughs> they think I should have the Joker makeup on. Yes. But the truth is, like, Brunson is, he is a big game player. He is a guy who you could put the, the team on his back. He, uh, you, you saw that even when we got eliminated against Miami a year ago, he looked great in, in every game uh, or most games. And, and, and this year, he was run down. Clearly, something was stewing with his hand. He broke his hand in that last game, which was, by the way, that was just like, that just, was it. just kill me. Yeah. Just kill me that the that's nail. how it. But, uh, you know, yeah, I think he could be the guy. I think you've got to get him another guy. No one's doing it on their own anymore. But, uh, and I'm not saying it's on his own. We got a hell of a team. I'm just saying we need another guy who can create. And maybe Randall could be that guy next year. Maybe they make a move. I don't know. But, but Brunson, I think, <clears throat> does. He, it just feels right. He just feels like he is our savior, you know? See, to me, as good as they were, and I know we have this built-in excuse how unhealthy and injured they were, but I feel like even fully healthy this year, like, were they really going to win the champion? Like, were they going to beat Boston? Were they going to beat a healthy Milwaukee? Like, so, you know, so, like, here's where you got to realize, though, Boston wasn't healthy either. They didn't have Porzingis last year. Yeah. That's the X factor against Dallas right now is Porzingis... And like, God, how cruel is it that they got Porzingis for nothing? He was ours. You stole Porzingis from us. They drew Holiday stole, for nothing. Stole they him. stole him. <laughs> that that so was a personal. horrible trade. By the way, going back to Porzingis, we're getting off topic here, but when they drafted him, I know he got shit on. <laughs> Did you like the pick or you knew nothing about it? I knew it? nothing. Like, so yeah. I, I wasn't one of the people booing. I mean, <laughs> Okay. That's nice. So, <laughs> Good job. Well, I think we were the one little kid who was going ape shit on, during the actual. Oh, you can't no, boo because you, you can't boo know. if you have faith in the front office. And I, I have. I mean, it wasn't Leon back then, but I do have a lot of faith in Leon. But mm -hmm. I think you really can't. Are you really going to be booing an 18-year-old? Like, what kind of monster you don't are even you? Know These are kids. It. And also, okay, who do you want? Jaleel Okafor? He's yeah. out of the league. We don't know who's going to be great. You know, that was a tricky draft. You know, Cat went one. I think D'Angelo went two. And then Jaleel. So Damn. We, the fact that we got Porzingis at four was crazy. Yeah. So yeah, after su after summer league, I was like, this guy's the he's the greatest player I've ever seen. <laughs> and then of course we got Kevin Knox, and I was like, this guy's better than Jason Tatum. You know? <laughs> I mean, I buy all in. You know? I bought into. I thought Kevin Knox was me gonna too. be nasty. He was a, he was the youngest kid in the draft, and he was cooking in summer league. So yeah. I'm a I'm a real fan. I'm watching summer league. I'm I'm. I really, I love the Knicks, so. Yeah. What? No, no one knew. Um, so you got a special coming out? New one on Amazon. That's like the, that's like the closest I get to feeling like a basketball player. <laughs> that, you know, I was Netflix last time. You're like a free agent. You're free like, agent. you know, uh, I never got a Chandler Parsons Amazon God, deal. God, who has? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Many have tried. <laughs> Many but, have tried, but, uh, Damn it. No, yeah, new, new one's on Amazon. I'm kind of pumped to mix it up. Looks, this one looks really cool. I got to spend way more money on this one, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Amazon 
comedy special July 9th. Man, I've, awesome. I've been privy to um, hang around comedians. Some of my best friends are comedians, so I have the opportunity to see those guys when they go work out and they're working on material and they're building up to get um, to that stage where they, where they feel like they're special ready. What's the difference between your late night sets and when you're getting ready for a special? Well, late night's just like you're not yourself. You know, it's almost like, it's like, Lou, if you were playing, they're like, no crossovers tonight. And it's like, you can't do a crossover. That's like one of my best moves. They're like, yeah. well, that's, that's not allowed here. So you're doing like a Fallon set. The, sh the stuff they let you say, you're just like, man, I really got it. It's cleaner now than it was like six years ago. They're, they keep making it, you know, Conan back in the day was great because it was on TBS. Mm -hmm. So no one's watching because it. it's TBS. But you're like, <laughs> man, I could say the only note I ever got on a Conan set was like, you can't wish cancer on someone in a joke. Interesting. Because it's on Conan's audience. And I was like, that's a fair note. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's reasonable. Fine. That was the only Just note. Hey, you're scratching that one off. God damn it. Meanwhile, like. My best joke. The, 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 the jo yeah, man, that one, that was a classic. The wishing cancer on people, that was a, that was a, that was a doozy. But uh, yeah, late nights just, you have to clean it up. But it's fun, it's something old school about late night. Like I grew up watching comics on late night, so I, I love that. I mean, L there was a stretch where Louis CK was just doing late mm. night, and every time he was on the couch, I'm like, this is like must-see TV. So yeah, uh, and the special, it's mine. I can do whatever I want, so I, right. I love, it's way more fun to do that. Can't yeah. wait for that. So you, you, and also, you filmed your special in Boston. Yeah, what's up with that? Die Hard Nick's fans was, was, was MSG booked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I played the MSG theater in November, so I couldn't. I kind of burned my, my wad in there. And, <laughs> and I've taped specials in New York, and the problem is you, you tape a special in New York, all your friends are bugging you in between the set. You kind of have sure. to stay kind of chill. You want to just be quiet, have a drink, be, be chill. And Boston crowds, I love them. I mean, just because we disagree on sports teams, that's kind of, I do love that they're in, like insane fans. So uh, yeah, the Wilbur's historic, Boston crowds, I'd say like Boston, Philly, uh, it's, right? It's weird. The DC, crazy ones. Those, yeah. those like kind of, those, they're good cities, you know, so they're good cities to do, do gigs in. That, that's what I was going to ask you. You've been tweeting, you know, Celtics hate for years. <laughs> yeah. Have, is it still, they're at the top of the list or has Philly, they ventured the chat? Like, the East, DC. I just didn't respect how, oh. <laughs> that's <so sad. laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. Uh, oh, I do. Dear God. <laughs> Man, you really dug into the archives here. Uh, yeah, you know, Celtics, the problem with Boston, I used to do a podcast with Julian Edelman, and we just get into, you know, the, the Patriots, great wide receiver. I almost called him the great white receiver. I mean, but, Chandler uh, Woods yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, yeah, we would fight about it all the time. We'd have to have, like, David Ortiz on the show, because he's Boston royalty, so it'd be like Paul Pierce, David Ortiz. I'd be like, yeah. this is miserable for me. I just have to, like, sit yeah. through and, like, watch. Punishment? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, Boston fans have been so spoiled the last 20 years. They, they, I mean, kids growing up there don't know what it's like to struggle. And losing as a fan builds character. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it really does. Because we, we're the real fans. The Knicks fans show up when the Knicks are bad. And that's, that's cool that you get to play for a team that will show up even if you're not doing well. We're, we're rooting for you. We're, we're going to bring good energy. But uh, <laughs> Boston fans piss me off for sure. And... Uh, but I feel you know, like as a city, I love Boston. How do you not I love? City. Uh, yeah, I like I like walking city. So, so South people. So we see the tweets. We hear you about what would it just pain you for them to beat the Mavs and get a championship? City, or do you, you see that happening? Was I, they're a hell of a team, man. I mean, that's the thing is, uh, it's tough because I really like Drew uh, Drew Holiday. I think he's a great player. He's like the type of player I love who just brings it on both ends. Derek White's a great player. Yeah. Tatum kind of bores me, honestly. Yeah. I know he's a great player, but he's like he's. If we're talking like tier one. He's the most boring tier one guy. I mean, he, see, he, Lou, it's not a mean thing. Yeah, I think he's a great player. Well, the other guys on that tier one too are just so electric and fun and special. Like you'd rather watch Anthony Edwards than Side. Jason Tatum. Of course, Tatum. Like it's, of course. I but he's that. a great player. He is a great player, and and so is Brown. It sucks. They they uh, they look good as hell. They're they're probably gonna win, but you never you can't count out Dallas. Luca and Kyrie are just they're just phenomenal. I, I wouldn't count them out yet. You talked about Boston, New York, D.C. being some of your, your favorite stops, right? Yeah. But athlete, comedian, doesn't matter. We all have the cities <laughs> that we hate to go to. Chandler's yeah. a big fan of Memphis, yeah, by loves the way. Yeah, Memphis. What's oh, your, what's Memphis your spot? is rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A list came out yesterday. They had Afghanistan and Syria. <laughs> 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 places in Memphis. I'll be at the Chernobyl funny bone coming up. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Memphis is... I actually had a great show last year in Memphis. I had a great time, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not my... Some great 
great breakfast stops there too. It's, it's not a horrible city, but do you have a hate talk, one though. Hate Naples, Florida stinks. Ah. These are just <laughs> those fucking all those retirement homes. Reti- oh, dude, I did a gig there. <laughs> I remember. Retirement home. <laughs> oh man, no, I, not the retirement home, but it may as well have been. They're just. I remember I uh, I was arguing with a guy in the crowd. I was bombing every show. Uh, <laughs> To the point that I remember the, from the Rangers, Mika Zabinijad saw me tweeting how much I hate Naples, and he DM'd me like, are you okay? And I'm like, do you know how bad it is for a professional hockey player to be like checking in? Uh, yeah, I was bombing every show. I remember at one point, I wished death on an old man in the crowd. <laughs> and, and he goes, and I said like, oh, I can't wait to get out of here in, in, in the morning. He's like, well, you're still here. And I go, yeah, well, you'll be dead soon. <laughs> and, uh, and, Sounds and, very fun. And, I love that. And at one point I heard a voice yell out, Grandpa, no. That was someone's grandpa heckling me. <laughs> and, yeah, I lost it. I, I had a breakdown. They were after five nights in that city. Yeah, it's it's Naples. terrible. I wanted to see that one. Florida. But I, yeah, there's a lot of I have a lot of hate for Naples. Yeah. In wow. Fort Myers, like there's certain parts of Florida, but then Same I love Chandler? like Tampa, my, Miami's I'm Miami from, crowds. I'm are from rough. Orlando, so I totally get Orlando it. crowds are great because yeah, they they're like blue collar working class or like yeah. good crowds. Uh, but yeah, Miami sucks too. They're like, I, I always play Miami. I'll actually be there, I think, in August. It's oh, a terrible that's good. plug. That's a really good uh, plug. But <laughs> tell they show up 30 it. minutes late and on Coke. They don't care about the show. They're, you know, they're the worst. Out, right? <laughs> good, do you want to plug your dates? Or <laughs> just like based I'm all of over. I, you know, Amazon special uh, July 9th, and I'm always on the road. So you could always, yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a cool one wow. yeah, that guy made. Yeah. So, yeah, who who does this? This art stuff. I can't say his Instagram handle because it's it's called Shart Salad. Sh- That's Shart his handle. Salad. I was like, hey, you got to change your handle Shart. if I'm gonna plug wow. you. Or oh, not. Going to Amsterdam, uh, Paris, that'll be Amsterdam. sick. That's sold out, I think, yeah, actually. Wow. I can't believe I could sell tickets in Amsterdam. So that's, yeah. that's killer. Well, they're all high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't know they, they don't know they bought yeah. them. <laughs> they think it's something else. Yeah. Oh. Do you have a top five comics thing, right? Like, are there, are there comics that you can do no wrong in your eyes? I, anytime Chris Rock's the seller, I'm really pumped because he. I like just to see his, his mind at work because he's so, uh, his takes are so uniting and, and interesting. So like Rock does social commentary in a way that I feel like is not dismissive like mm. of parts. I think certain people leave out parts of the country and as an entertainer, like why are you doing that? You gotta, you gotta bring people together. Uh, so I love watching Rock. David Tell just like kills me. David Tell's the silliest guy ever, you know. Uh, those are, and then like, you know, just my buddies. And, and C, Louis C.K., when he pops into the cellar, it's pretty damn. It's are pretty we allowed damn to great. like Louis C.K. again? Yeah, yeah. I think he's okay. back. I, I never know. I don't get memos. He's back. Yeah. Like, Lu- he's back. Shane Gillis, get, he kills. That's, Shane's that's crushing. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's Shane's on shit. fire right now. Yeah, I love Shane. Let me uh, ask you a question. Shane is a Philly guy. Shane was texting me horrible, horrible I stuff. Saw, <laughs> listen, I, I tuned into his new show, Tires, yeah. and it was like Valley Force, and I was like, I lived in Valley Force. <laughs> is he? so, he's a Philly guy, so I was at game two when Dante hit the, the three to, to take over and Hardenstein got the block, and, uh, and he's like, they fouled him. They fouled him. Screw you. <laughs> then I got a little anti-Semitic, and I was like, damn you, Shane. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> when, Too far. When, when you see like an athlete like a Blake Griffin, who's my boy, and I've gone to some of his stand ups, some of them have been hilarious, some of them crickets. Blake's a funny guy. Do you actually, are you like rolling your eyes like this guy sucks, or do you actually, do you guys respect him and think like someone like that has a future in comedy? Blake is very funny, and he also has a, has a great respect for stand up. I think if you approach anything with humility, like it's the people that go up and like don't really have a sense of the history. Right. I've heard Blake talking about like Lenny Bruce and like <laughs> yeah. Richard Pryor. He's a student of the game. So he's a student. And and uh, and I, you know I've met Blake a few times. He's he's an awesome guy, and I think really this is how big a comedy fan Blake is. I remember talking with him in Montreal Comedy Festival years ago, and Todd Barry, who's a friend of mine, the comedian walks by and he goes, "Oh my God, is that Todd Barry?" And I'm like, <laughs> you, all right, "You're good, Blake. Yeah. You're good. We get it. Oh, yeah. Now you're just showing off. Blake's S- legit." Samuel, like, ladies and gentlemen, Sam, oh, that, you don't have to. They're not here. Oh, but yeah. uh, yes, thank, thank you, thank you for coming by. We'll be back with some more. 